Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building seven use cases of machine learning in Android. In this video, we will continue our journey by building the object detection. So just for demo sake, so let's see our ML series demonstrator app. And if I pick up a simple image, this is what the object detection library will show. So just a reminder, the full code is available on GitHub. And if you want to learn Android using Kotlin, the new recommended programming language for Android development, I have a very detailed course on my own YouTube channel. Please do check it out. The links are in the description. So let's start. So let's go back to our ML series demo project and uh, go to build.gradle, the which says module ML series demo dot app. And let's add the library for object detection. So implementation and then com.google.mlkit. This will be object detection and the version is 16.2.6. .6. So after you type this in, just click on sync now. So the project has synced. The library is now part of our project. And let's go to uh, this left pane and click on image package. Just right click on the image package and Go to new Java class and let's type object detection activity. So as before, we are not creating a new activity with the layout. We are just extending the image helper activity. So we just need a class. So object detection activity extends image helper activity. We're also going to override two methods on create and run classification. So like before, we need a member variable, which will be object detector. And let me just copy paste the code to initialize it. So here we have used object detection options to initialize our object detector. So we are using the detector mode single image. So we are just going to use it on single image or on a static image. You can also use it to analyze uh, a video. So for that the mode is stream and we are enabling multiple object detection and also classification so the library will try to uh, so the library will try to identify object as well as classify them so like before we have to create the input image so input image is equal to and uh, the bitmap and we'll just assume the rotation degrees to be 0 Okay, and then we pass this input image to the object detector. So we have input image and then we will add two listener, the success listener and the failure listener. Okay, so in the failure, we will just print the stack trace. While in the success listener, we are just going to print the logs for now. So if uh, detected objects is not empty, then for every detected object in detected objects. So this object actually contains labels as well as a bounding box. So this bounding box will actually help us draw the red rectangle on top of the object. So for now, let us just get the labels and see how it works. So now for what we are going to do is if the labels are not empty, so if the labels are not empty, so if the labels are not empty, we will just store the first label. So label is equal to object dot get labels dot get zero or the first label so label dot get text so so every label has some more properties like text and confidence we are just going to take the text for now and we are going to log it the log and this is object detection 
and we will say object detected plus the label. We are also going to keep a string builder. And we are going to append this label to the string builder. And just a new line at the end. So we are going to log it and then at the end we are also going to set the text to the output text view. So get output text view dot set text or builder dot to string. In the else part where the image or the library was not able to detect any objects we are just going to say could not detect. Okay, so our class is ready. So we just have to integrate it with our main activity, the layout and then the manifest. So let's do that. So first let's go to main activity, copy this method and change to object detection. Now if you go to the layout, we can actually copy this button, make it button three. This will say go to object detection and even the method name will change. This will be to the bottom of button two so that it moves down in the UI. So now we have integrated integrated this new activity in the main activity and the layout. The final thing is to integrate it in the manifest. So go to activity, then object detection, and then end this tag. So that's it. Let's run it now. You can see the activity has come up. So let's click on go to object detection and then pick an image. So let's start with an easy one. So yeah, it detected one plant here and let's try with more so yeah this it could detect more food items so it has been able to detect at least four food items so this is it you can see how easy it is to integrate the object detection library in the next video we will see how to draw the bounding box or the rectangle on top of the detected images and after that we will continue with face detection see you there